morning. I wanted to take this time to possibly let you know that you, whoever you are, shouldn't be so seriously minded that you forget that you have a story to tell, that you are a saint, that God has saved you and designed you in a particularly unique and special way, that you have a halo, as it were, over your life, that your testimony is something that's precious in his sight, that the day that you got saved, just the way you are, the way you are, that all of heaven rejoiced because your name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So you have a story to tell. You have something that's very, very important to relate to someone else who might be looking just like you or thinking just like you before you were saved. So because technology has come so far and there is tablets and smartphones and laptops, that there's video cameras and web cameras and Skype and all kinds of ways, video messengers and messenger services to use. Don't be afraid to go onto the internet, to use Facebook, to use Google, to use Twitter, to use all these other opportunities for you to share who Jesus is in your life. You don't have to be professional. You just have to be you, to be honest. And as you begin to do that, then God may open the door and who knows, you may be the next, whoever your favorite hero is. <laughs> it isn't me, I know. I don't think you want to walk around with a halo over your head, now do you? But you might have just the right words to say, the right message to share. Jesus to someone else who needs to hear from you today. It may be your own child or daughter. It may be your mother. It may be your sister or your brother. It might be someone halfway around the world that you never knew you'd meet, except in one way. Today, you decided to choose to be used by the Lord to speak to someone else through technology. So don't be afraid of the Internet and don't be afraid of someone stealing your ID as though that were something to be fearful of. Oh, my God, I might lose my 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 money, my 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 proper name. Hey, guess what? If you had a testimony out there on the web someplace, which is all free, you could YouTube it and you'll figure out how. There's plenty of things to tell you how. Then guess who, who they would know you are? It's you. <laughs> you can do all kinds of things free if you just choose to do it. Technology is out there for you to use in a positive way, in a very beneficial way, to go out and to teach all nations, to encourage someone who might be in a third world country who just happens to have a laptop but doesn't have a house or a home. And you may find that strange, but it does happen now. The technology is going farther than sometimes our ability to keep up with caring for the people. So if you care, if you dare, if you would like to be used by God today, then I challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you can go out and share John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hey, do it. It's not that hard. Everything's been made easier for you. All you got to do is just do it. So take this as an encouragement. Even though I have a halo over my head, <gasps> the halo's gone. <gasps> Maybe it's back. <gasps> Maybe it's gone. Maybe it's back. Hard to tell especially with this software, but praise the Lord, you get out and do those things that you enjoy with Jesus today. And when you're texting and when you're video checking out, you know, like the latest football game, why not put a halo in your life and ask Jesus to take over your camera and make you into being someone he can use for his glory. You may be the one. You were born for such a time as this.